welcome students welcome to my next video before i start with geography there was a request from few of the students that i should explain geography so i would like to grant that request which was made by the students so from now on you can expect more and more videos related to geography my dear students in this video i will be speaking both in hindi and english because there are students from the vernacular medium who requires an explanation in hindi so i will be speaking in hindi too the topic for the day is local time and standard time standard a geography hum is part mein dekhenge ke standard time kya hai लोकल टाइम क्या है हम किस तरह स्टैंडर्ड टाइम और लोकल टाइम हम डिसाइड करते हैं निश्चित करते हैं हम सुबह उठते हैं तो ब्रश करते हैं नहाते हैं नाश्ता करते हैं स्कूल जाते हैं स्कूल में पढ़ाई करते हैं वापस आते हैं फिर हम ट्यूशन जाते हैं शाम को हम खेलने जाते हैं वापस आएंगे फिर से रात का खाना खाते हैं ब्रश करते हैं और सो जाते हैं ये हमारा डेली रूटीन होता है ये हमारी एक्टिविटी होती है सुबह उठना मतलब दांत घसना नहाना नाश्ता करना दोपहर हो जाता है पाठशाला से हम वापस आते हैं खाना खाना होता है ट्यूशन जाना होता है ट्यूशन से आने के बाद हम खेलते हैं अभी हम सोचेंगे और गौर करेंगे कि ये हमारा रोजमर्रा की जिंदगी है इट इज अवर डेली एक्टिविटी एंड इट इज डिसाइडेड दैट दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू Now the question arises in our mind: How did the old, our ancient people decided that it is day or night? It is through observation. Simple. There was no watch. There was no mobile. But through observation, through natural events for measurement of time. they used various tools now one of such tools i would like to mention a bowl with minute hole at which the base which would float in large water filled with filled vessels then they had sand timer which were used to tell time now my dear students it's very simple and it's a general knowledge that earth takes 24 hours to complete one rotation ek rotation ko complete karne ke liye usko एक रोटेशन के लिए 24 घंटे लगते हैं वी कंसिडर द डिरेक्शन वेर एज द सन राइज फ्रॉम द ईस्ट दस द अर्थ रोटेट फ्रॉम वेस्ट टू ईस्ट एज अ रिजल्ट वी एक्सपीरियंस सनराइज नून सनसेट एंड मिड नाइट ड्यूरिंग रोटेशन द लॉन्जिट्यूड इन द वेस्टर्न पार्ट फेसेस द सन ग्रेजुअली 
it is considered to be a day those in the east experiences darkness it is considered to be night the longitude which faces the sun experiences sunrise while on the other hand the darkness experiences sunset so we come across with two terms sunrise and sunset now how it happens when the longitude faces the sun we find it is sunrise and it goes away from the sun and they experiences darkness we say it's sunset i would like to give an example which says about the rotation of the earth while traveling in the bus or a train for example the speed of the train is enormous even the bus as it moves the electric poles buildings outside the window they are appear to be moving in the opposite direction actually they are not moving they are stationary the bus is moving forward similarly because of the rotation of the earth we feel the sun is changing the position from east to west daily now my dear students i would like to explain it with an small activity take a poll during the noon time just fix that poll and you will find during noon time the reflection is very small because the sun is at horizon at the top so we find the shadow is very small as it moves from east to west let us say the morning time 8 am the pole is little bigger then at 10 am it becomes shorter and at 12 pm it becomes much more shorter we find it decreases when the sun is at the horizon and then afternoon time 2 pm suddenly it gets elongated it increases the shadow increases and the length increases by the time it is 4 pm we find it is the longest shadow so we can say it all depends on the direction of the sun you see the pole is at is static but the shadows are in different forms in the morning it was longest it was getting shorter by the noon after noon then it started becoming becoming longer now my dear students you would realize the shadows in the early morning and the evening are the longest while those at the noon were shortest because of the change of the apparent location of the sun in the sky as i told you before incidentally we can see that is cooler it is cooler in the morning and evening but it is warmer in the afternoon as soon as the sun starts moving up in the sky after the sun rises the length of the shadow reduces please note reduces normally the length of the shadow is shortest at the noon because the sun moves towards the horizon in afternoon and the length of our shadow increases again by evening the noon time is the same at the given longitude across the earth from the north pole to the south pole the time of the place is decided by the location of the sun in the sky 
is known as local time. Now you may have a question, what is local time? The time of a place which are decided by the location of the sun in the sky is known as a local time. In the region lying between polar circle and the poles, the daytime could be more than 24 hours. If you go towards the region where there are snow, there, there is no clear demarcation of day and night. You know, we understand it by the timing of sunrise and sunset. At the poles, the daytime, the duration lasts for six months. To tell the time of sunrise and sunset at the poles, there is no particular clock as such, but we consider the date. Because there is six long month of days and another six long month of night. When the sun rises on a specific day, it moves around the horizon and therefore here the length of the shadow cannot be considered for telling the noon time. Now, difference of longitude. Please remember, difference of longitude have different timings from sunrise to noon and sunset. When there is noon at Mumbai, it would not be the same at Kolkata because Kolkata lies in the east of Mumbai. It would have been already been afternoon in Kolkata. The local time of the earth surface is determined with a reference to its noon time implies the places lying on the same longitude are having same local time. Please mark this in your book that the places lying on the same longitude are having the same local time. So there is no difficulty when a local time is used for a small area. When the people living in a larger area across different longitudes have to interact with each other using local time would be a chaos and confusion. In such cases, using of local time is not convenient. I would like to give an example which is not there in your book. I would like to give an example that if I want to interact with a person in Dubai. You know, the local time of Dubai and the local time of India is different. So we find that if we say according to our local time, there will be a confusion. So how do we, you know, decide the local time? We decide the local time, that is the difference of local time, you know, that, you know, to pass one degree, it requires four minutes. So how much the longitude? which passes from the front of the sun, we multiply with that and we decide the local time. Simple. Now, my dear students, I would like you to take note of this, what I am saying. Between which longitude does the region experience daytime? Okay, you can use, study the map and answer the following question. Which longitude experiences noon and midnight respectively? Edward from New Orleans in, is on which longitude? So these are the few questions that can be 
answered by looking at the map and this is a small activity which you can do it when you get a free time thus we can say something about the local time now my dear students thus i would like to end this video if you are a new viewer please subscribe it if you like the video please do like it and if the people are not aware of this channel that they are no now geography is been telecasted through this channel please give awareness your one like will encourage me to make more and more videos thank you and i wish you all the best